Hello everybody. So today we are going to solve this gerrymandering problem uh, that was in the code process round 978 yesterday. So we are given a uh, given a two cross n grid and it can have either a or j. So we want the maximum number of votes. So <coughs> So how can we solve this? So we can construct a district and they should be connected. So if they are connected, if any two cells are uh, up, down, left or right. So let's see what can be the structure of the district. So, so we need three cells, right? So the first structure can be this one then we can have this one and also we can have this one right so these are the structures of uh, districts that can be present so uh, now a district can be one if at least two have houses select them so that means at least two greater than or equal to two is should be present in them right in these three cells so let's see how can we do this um, so uh, this is our grid So at any point of time, uh, let's say this is our working column. So at any point, the, the structure can be like if it was back and it, it can be completed till here. Let's say it had such thing, right? So this can be a case, then uh, it will be empty or if there was a previous structure like this this can be a case in our working column and this one is already used or if this is our working cell and this is already used in some previous structure so basically there are three types of steps uh, let's call this as a state zero let's call it as state 1 and let's call it as state 2 so <clears throat> what we will do is now once we have the states so let's say we have state 0 state 0 means uh, everything at the back is completed and we have fresh full column right and it go on it goes on so for state zero so we have a full column so from here we can what we can do is we can uh, directly use uh, this l shape structure So let's say our DP is something like DP of n plus 1 cross 3 because we have three different states, right? So uh, if we, for state 0, if we use this structure at our current column, what we will do this is uh, the current state of our column is 0, right? So the transition will make it so dp of so uh, using this structure uh, the state for the next column would be so the state for the next column would be this one right because uh, this got already used and as we said if the first row of our column is used so that is state one so it would be max 
why max because uh, if there was some other configuration uh, ending at the same i plus 1 column in state 1 uh, we would have used that so if there is something another state that was raised so we can use that or now what we have is we are using three values right so let's say uh, of our given grid let's change all a's to one and all this to zero okay so we have a binary grid so uh, let's say we are choosing these three cells then we only get a vote for this if the value the sum of the values in the cells is greater than or equal to two let's say we have a function that calculates the value of the three cells we pass in and if it is greater than or equal to two uh, that is a vote so we can count it so dp of i plus one either the state of the next cell or the state of our current cell so for our column i our current state was zero right plus now if the f value of these three cells so we can say that array of i comma zero comma array of i comma one and array of i plus one zero so this would be the transition if we use a this L shape structure in state zero so similarly what we can do is for if we use the second L shape like now if we use this one what would be the change so the next for the next column the state would be dp of i plus one comma two and similarly max of same same thing and uh, now we are using the current state of our column zero and we would pass the values of these three cells now this is it or or what we can do is now uh, we know that it was a fully available column right so what we can do is we can also use this type of structure at this point so what this would do is it will change so this was our working column right so for uh, the state if we use these two structures the states for i plus 3 would be 0 right so dp of i plus 3 0 is equal to max of the same thing or max of same thing or now what we have is we are using the uh, zero state of our current column plus now we are using this three right and also we are using this three so we have f of first three and then f of the three of the last uh, second row so this is our transitions there are three transitions for each state right so uh, we get this now uh, we were considering if our current column state was zero that is it was fully available now we'll consider other other ones now let's say uh, whatever we had behind in our working column we had this particular used this one used and yeah so if this is the case this is used so the so now from here what we can do is we can use a l shape like this one right 
or we can uh, expand this using three in this sense. Right, so this is already used. This was already used. So, uh, so our initial state is DPU I. This is the first state, right? The first row is used. So, it will be max of the same thing, uh, same thing. Or now, if we use this L shape structure, this will result uh, for the column I plus two in state zero, right? So it will become uh, okay. Sorry. So uh, for this state, it will become I plus two zero and max of the same thing and we have currently at state one of our current column and plus we will pass then passing these three cells values right so this is one of the transition or we can use this one and in this case you can see that the column i plus three ends in state one right so the your i plus three in the first state is equals to and you can you know like how can we pass these values and we'll have this one and similarly if we had an initial column used as the uh, lower one like if this was used now you can use this l shape structure or or uh, we can expand this one this one, this one, and this one. This will make the uh, state of i plus 3 at column as 2. This will make the column at i plus, uh, column at i plus 2 state 0, right? So, uh, this is how we are going to tackle this problem, and basically, these are only the states that are going to change. So, let's see the code. So, we take in the input. We give it a uh, convert it to, to a binary array. So let's initialize all as minus infinity. And for state zero at column zero, obviously the number of votes is zero. So now if it it was our first case like the state zero, then we can use either this L structure. We can use two two rows of three consecutive ones or this L structure. So as I said, these are the transitions for the given state. Similarly, the transitions for this state and similarly the transition for this state. So finally, our answer will be like uh, if we choose zero uh, zero base indexing, so this will be at n minus one. So uh, we count all the votes in here and whatever the state uh, like the answer at the nth row uh, nth column for state zero right so uh, state zero means this is unused right so whatever has been counted here and for column n with state zero that would be our answer right so this is how we solve this problem it was a good problem to make you understand about the different states and shapes in dp hope you liked it thanks